Hello, okay, finally, we live. Welcome. Uh, if you just joined, sorry for keeping you waiting. We had some technical issues again today. We're learning this thing, sorting it out. So I've got my camera mounted a little lower than usual for today's workout. It's an ab workout, so we're gonna be hitting that core hard. So I um, hope you have your bottle of water ready. I've got mine. Maybe a sweat towel or something like that if you need. Um, whenever you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so I'll do the warm up, um, upper body warm up on my knees. Okay, so we just start swinging our arms, get it nice and loose, let it right, then uh, swing it backwards without uh, eliminating your wall. You can do this standing. I'm just, uh, for the sake of the camera, doing this this way. How's the sound? Is it okay? Can everyone hear me? Good. Just let me know in the comments if you can't. I've got my eye on it there. <laughs> okay. Now that the arms nice and warm, you can move your legs a little bit. Just swing it forward and backwards. Like that. Swing it left and right. Other leg. Kick it out. Do a small jog. Okay, I think we're nice and warm, do a few jumps, try and keep your legs a little bit straight, just so that you can activate those squats while you're jumping. Last kick or two and then we get started, okay, first thing we do today is a Russian twist, so if you're Russians out there, you'll know how to do it, for the others who don't, you can Hands together, together like this. Sit in this V position, legs bent, and then touch the floor on the left side and on the right like this. That's too easy. Grab your water bottle or something, something with some weight to it, and then just use that to move to the left and to the right. Okay, we'll do that for 60 seconds, and uh, just as many as you can. Not using momentum but controlling the movement even though you're going fast. Okay, ready to go. We'll start on 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Sorry we're a bit late today. Again, we're getting the hang of it. And also this place where we're staying, the internet is so inconsistent, so it'll just go down and one day it's strong, one day the signal is weak. Um, so yeah, just bear with us please. Almost there. Fifteen seconds. Okay, done. Take a breather. Ah. Drink some water and then next up we've got planks. Good. That's good. 
planks we're going to be doing is single arm and single leg planks. So if you can't do it, just do a push up plank like this. If not, just do a push up plank, single arm and single leg rest like that. Straighten your leg at the back, straighten your arms. And then we do that for 30 seconds and then we swap like that. Trying to keep at it. If it's a bit too difficult, the push up position, just go down on your elbows, do the same. Make sure you keep your core nice and tight while you're doing it. And uh, all will be well. We'll start at 50 seconds. Okay. Remember to breathe while you're doing it. Let's go. Remember to breathe. And done. Well done. Take a breather. Next up. Is the L set. We're gonna do it for five seconds at a time. So, depending on your flexibility, you'll be able to do this or not. Um, so, basically, you sit in this position, straighten your legs, and then lift yourself up. Like that. So, we'll do five seconds one, two, three, four, five, down. And let go. For 60 seconds, we'll be doing that. As many five seconds as we can. Okay, we'll start at 60 seconds. Are you ready? I'm not. <laughs> Let's go. Three, two, one. And down. One, two, three. Back up. Get it down. Four, five. Mission. It's one of my favorites, by the way. If you ever meet me in person, and uh, the first thing you should say is, uh, I know you love Alcet. That's all I know. Uh, take some rest. We're going to do some hikings after this. But not the uh, one more one we do, we try and put our knees as high as possible this time. So, 
not as fast as, as we usually do it. We just want high. Because we want to engage that core. Okay. So squeeze this as you're doing it. Three, two, one, go. 60 seconds. Nice and high. out there, you know, a 400 is uh, similar to what you're feeling with this exercise. It's like it burns the whole way through, but it's good, makes us stronger. Next, we're doing lying leg raises. So, I'm going to lie down on my back, straight legs. I can put my hand right next to me or just under my bum, whichever one you prefer. And then you lift up straight back down without touching the floor again. 60 seconds of that, that bad boy. We're floor, floor again today. If you know what floor gang is and do there's also floor gang with me, let me know. Floor gang. We'll start at 30 seconds, okay, everyone ready? Let's go. Good. Take a breather. That was a good one. Next up, you're doing kneel touches. So, also on your back, but your knees are up in the air, like this. Take your hands, touch your left heel, touch your right heel. I don't know if you can see. You move around. Left heel, right heel, squeeze your abs as you're doing it. You want the legs to work, the other internal muscles that you usually give your second best. We're working all of those now. It really feels like a home workout on the floor like this. You're a bit tight with space, so 
we have to do it. Use what we can. We have to lay only here until end of April, so let's see how it goes. Start in 60 seconds, go. Let's go. Remember to breathe. Exhale on the effort. We are halfway there. Take a breather. We're doing planks again next. The slight variation. This is going to be a long one. We'll do planks like this on our elbows, 60 seconds. Then, without rest, we move into a side plank for 60 seconds, and then other side plank for another 60 seconds. Huh? Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Tighten the cheeks, squeeze your bum, tighten your abs. The world record for these are like four and a half hours or something. Jeez, I think it respect to those people. If you know who it is, it's the pop me the name of the guy. I think there is a female and male record holder with uh, almost the same time. I might be wrong. Ten seconds left. Got it. Okay, next. Hips off the floor, eh? If you're shaking like me, that's pain leaving your body, <laughs> weakness leaving your body. Messed up that line. <laughs> Halfway. Keep going. Just think of that beach body that will be coming out of this. Five, four, three, two, one, and swap. I can't see that. Five, 
Doing next 60 seconds, starting with the hand bicycle. So just put your hands lightly next to your head, don't pull your head forward with your hands, rarely touch, and then knees up, left, right, squeeze. Like that. Okay, for 60 seconds. One, two, three, let's do it. Ten seconds. exercise left. Then we're done. Easy. Too easy. That's it guys. If you've got some more energy, I'll put in the links in the description for some of my other workouts or just check the pop-up box. Should be somewhere that's Deep breaths. The okay, next is a V of all. So straight legs and up. Uh, if you haven't started yet, you can stop at the front. Light starters, you're not done yet. Okay, now you're done. Light starters can stop as well. That's it. That was the workout. We'll take a short breather and then we'll get into some stretches just to get our heart rate, heart rate back to normal and uh, get ready for the rest of the day with my go-to ab workout it's good to mix it up keep the body guessing hope you're all doing well in this quarantine time staying safe in your homes keeping yourself productive not just busy i know i am 
start with some stretches. While we're sitting on the ground, we can uh, start stretching our shoulders. So place your arms behind you like this, and then inch yourself forward or backwards so that you get a nice shoulder stretch. Now is the time to really start breathing. Take deep breaths. a little bit, stretch it to the side. Another side. Sit on your knees. The best stretch ever. You can stretch your shoulders, lift arm up, and then pull it close to your head, stretching that lat, those shoulders. Same arm you can bring across. Remember to breathe. Guys, switch arms, right arm across. And then right arm up. We we'll did a cross point just now. Okay, right on the cross now. Stretch your forearms while you're here. Form facing down. side okay bend over forward push your head through your shoulders reach your upper back Again, and 
Give it a stretch in your quads as well. Hold it there. Okay, slowly back down. You can step up on one leg into a lunge position. Push your hips forward. Side of your leg, try and pull the closest arm down to a point where your elbow can almost touch the floor. If you're flexible, it probably can touch the floor. Then you can move that same arm up, palm facing out away from you so if you come back down and your leg back stretch that damn string some more Nice, got blades. Hips forward. Hold it. Remember to deep, take deep breaths. Side of your foot, try and lower the touches on. Slowly back down again, the back of your leg. The stretch, stretch that hamstring. Okay, then you can come sit on your, in a crouch position. You can loosen up those ankles a bit by Bring your one leg in front, grabbing it, and then just holding it like that, balancing, a little bit of balance, a little bit of stretch going on here. If you don't do that, just keep it on the floor and stretch like this. You're trying to bring this heel, this back heel, as close to the floor as possible. As you can see, I'm still working on my flexibility. This will help us with those pistol squats, the single leg movements, a lot of running goes into the ankle and the foot mobility, so this will surely help with any running, any sports. Most of this training will actually help you in, in whatever sports you're doing. It. 
guy back in your scratch position and we slowly roll up so drop down those heels go up slowly round your back stretch it out all the way up and shoulders back that's it well done I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. If you did, please uh, make sure you're subscribed. Go on the top of the channel, click that subscribe button, click on uh, the bell so you get notifications every time I go live. And uh, if you think some friends could benefit, just share with them, send them the link. I'm sure they would uh, love to get fit and ready for the beach after this quarantine is over. So. Have a great day and I'll check you guys tomorrow. Cheers!